everyone, it's Ricardo, and this week in for review we have the Yima Spacegraph Zero G. This is a chronograph, quartz chronograph, offered by the French brand Yima. Let's get some specs out of the way. The watch is 39 millimeters across, 19 millimeter lug width. 13 millimeter in height. You also get drilled lug holes, which is a nice thing to have. In terms of functions, we have the chronograph second hand. You'll see here in orange. And we have chronograph minutes being tallied by the sub dial at six. What you'll also see is just the difference in terms of texture on the dial. The chronograph minute sub dial has this sunburst effect, while the overall dial has this almost textured moon surface effect. And both come in this beautiful dark blue color. Now the watch was created last year to commemorate CNES, which is the Centre National des Études Spéciales for France. Translated, that means the National Center for Space Studies. And you can see running from 1989 to 2019. Now, a cool thing about this watch is, yes, it was created to commemorate CNES, However, they went an additional mile, and you'll see it here on the chapter ring for the watch. Now, in the chapter ring, you'll see instead of 10, 20, 30, you'll see this 1G, 2G markings on the chapter ring. And then you'll also see that on the bottom part of the chapter ring, it comes in in this orange color for each of the chapter ring indices. Now the story behind that is CNS, CNES runs these flights which allow you to experience zero gravity, thus the name of the watch being zero G. So in order to experience zero gravity, what the flight will do is over the span of 66 seconds, the flight will go, in the first 22 seconds, it'll go at a 45 degree angle, nose high. Within the next 22 seconds, which is 22 seconds to 44 seconds, it'll kind of go in that parabolic shape. And in that time frame, the watch then experiences, <laughs> not the watch, the individuals within the aircraft get to experience zero gravity. And on the other side, side of the parabola, which is your 44 to 66 seconds, they're going down at a 45 degree angle back to 24,000 feet. So they start at 24,000 feet, climb up to 34, and go back down to 24,000 feet. And in that mid time, that 22 to 44 seconds, that's when you will have your zero gravity. So they use that and they mark the chapter ring with the whole idea of pilots and individuals who are on these flights to be able to time that process. And since the process is very straightforward in terms of angle of attack, 45 degrees, the amount of time, the distance traveled in terms of 24 to 34,000 feet, this watch helps them with, with that process. So it's, it's a cool addition to the watch. There's a story behind it. Um, it. It's just a cool process. And they made sure to add that to the watch and that's why you get the name of the watch being Zero G. Now with the story aside, as just a watch, I have to say I like this watch. Um, there's just something about that beautiful blue textured dial. When the light hits it just right, um, it, it, it almost shimmers um, it, it's a it's a cool thing to see 
Um, love the color accents in terms of the chronograph seconds hand. You get that nice little zero G right there on the dial. Um, love the fact that they went with a different texture for the sub seconds at six. So it really stands out. In terms of size, the watch wears really well. However, and this is where I start to get into some of the negatives of the watch. Overall, I like the watch, but there are two negatives that I feel if you're going to purchase this watch, you really need to, to hear and, and kind of you know, evaluate for yourself. First, of course, is the 19 millimeter lugs. Um, always sucks when a brand doesn't use standard lugs. Um, 20 millimeters would have been great. Uh, and taking that a step further, I, I understand, you know, the idea behind the leather uh, backed Cordura, but I think this would have been great on like a Velcro space strap. It would have been perfect. 20 millimeters, 39 millimeter case it would have been just perfect on this. Second thing that I want to make sure everyone understands before they watch, they buy this watch is just how the height of the watch doesn't really help. Well, not so much the height, but the way the case is structured doesn't really help with it sitting on your wrist. And I'll explain what I'm saying. Many times we all hope for and ask for lugs which curve down. But a key thing that you also have to look for is that the case back does not protrude lower than the lugs. So it almost ends up where instead of the watch sitting perfectly on your wrist, the case back almost pushes the watch up and, it, and it's hard for the watch to sit on your wrist perfectly. And on this watch, what you'll see is that the case back actually exists about a millimeter or two below where the lugs end. And that might not seem like anything, but if you put this on your wrist, believe me, you'll, you'll, you'll feel it. And it, it's a little uncomfortable um, I can only speak for myself, uh, but for me, I found it a little uncomfortable. And I'll just kind of show you guys a little bit. Let me put this on my wrist. So you guys could kind of get a nice wrist shot. So here's the watch on my seven and a half inch wrist. And what you'll notice is it doesn't quite sit cleanly. And that's because most of the watch is actually sitting, the case back is sitting on my wrist, but there's this gap right here underneath the lugs. They don't sit with my wrist. And that's purely on the fact that the height, the case back actually protrudes lower than the lugs. And that makes it hard for this watch to really sit on my wrist comfortably. Now, overall, I have to say, I, I love the aesthetics of the watch. The watch, um, I, I believe the watch looks really good, but when you take into account the negatives, for me, um, it, 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 it just doesn't work. Um, it, it, it doesn't allow the watch to sit well. I could get past the lugs. Um, I mean, this isn't the first watch to ever go with 19 millimeter lugs. Uh, there are tons of those out there, but the 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 whole fact that the case back protrudes lower is is something that's really hard to get over and it 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 makes it difficult for the watch to sit well on the wrist now of course that's my opinion on the watch for others this might wear better of course i have a seven and a half inch wrist maybe on a lower wrist it'll sit better on the wrist but for me it that that was just something that was very difficult to get past. I also want to show you guys a little bit of the loom. It's actually pretty strong. But yeah, guys, that's my review of the Yima Spacecraft Zero G. Drop your, your thoughts in the comments section below. And let me know what you think. See you guys again soon.